In this module, we'll look at managing roles and users, which consists of adding and deleting users as well as managing role permissions. To begin, open Synchro Control and create a new project or select an existing project. On the project homepage, in the lower left, select the administration icon. Select the Manage Your Team list menu or menu item. This will open the project team management page. If the project has just been created, no users will be listed. Project users will need to be added. If users have been added to the project, those users are listed by name, email, role, and organization. Directly above the user list are two filters where you may show loser users by specific role or organization. To the right and above the filter box, are a search input box, icons for manage roles, add users, and import users. The search box will search through the list of project users. By typing in characters into this input field, you will see the filter, the list of users filtered based on those characters you've typed. The Manage Roles icon to the right of the search allows the administrator the ability to create roles and modify the user permissions for each organization role, organizational role. In the left column are lists of roles, enterprise roles, custom enterprise roles, and project roles. In the middle are general permissions, and to the right are service access and permissions. A role is defined by the combination of general permissions and service access permissions authorized by a role template or customized by an administrator. By selecting the expansion arrow on the left side of the permission category, you will see the specifics of each permission. Selecting the box to the left of the permission will activate or deactivate that permission for that user. To the right of each permission heading is a display of the number of active permissions to the total number of permissions available in that category. For example, selecting the enterprise role project administrator, you will see that all available permissions are active for that role. When the team member role is selected, you will see that several categories show that not all available, available permissions are active. In addition, you will see above this general permissions category a number of users that have been assigned that role. To go back to the project management team, select the project team heading. The add users icon will allow the project administrator to add a single or multiple users by name or email address. You can search for users inside your organization's domain by name or email using the pull down field to the left. You may also add users outside of your organization by email only. In the input field, type in the name or the email address you want to add. A list will pop up that matches your search criteria. Selecting the plus sign to the right will add that to a list. You can add multiple users here. For users outside of your organization, type in the email address you wish to add. Now this email is outside of the organization domain, so no matches were found for my organization. Select the plus button here below the email address in order to add that email to the project or as a user to the project. 
once you've assembled your list of users to add to the project. Select the roles you want to assign to each user. By default, users are added as a team member. Once you've selected the role, by pressing the Add Users button, we'll save those users to the project and send emails to those users. The Cancel button will quit back to the project team management page. Import Users icon allows an administrator to bulk add user. This process involves importing an Excel file that incl includes a list of users by email and role. There is a sample fi Excel file available for download at the bottom of this dialog box through the link. Up to 1,000 users can be added with this process. There is an option to send the email notification to users who are added through this process. To modify user roles or delete users, a user must be selected. The column to the left of the user's name is a toggle box to select that user. Once a user has been selected, the modify roles and remove icons become available. When the modify roles icon is selected, another dialog box will appear called assign to role. This dialog box has two columns. On the left are available roles to add to the selected user. On the right are roles currently assigned to that user. By selecting on a role in either column, an arrow will appear to move that role to the other column. Moving a role from the left column to the right column will add the role to the user. And moving a role from the right column to the left column will remove that role from the user. Users must have at least one role assigned. When a role has been moved to either column, the Man Modify Roles button will become available at the bottom of the Assign to Roles dialog. Selecting the Modify Roles button will add, is the first step to save the modified role configuration for the user. The next dialog box will allow the administrator to view the changes and save the role changes by selecting Submit or selecting the back button to make additional modifications. This concludes the video on managing users and user roles. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.